take it steady, love. Everything's gonna be fine. It's easy for you to say. Well, it's the truth. A bit dead round here, isn't it? Your jokes are terrible. Well, I'm your dad. It's in my job description. It's about the only thing I'm good at. None of this is your fault. Well, it's not your fault either. Well, whose is it then? Well, I reckon Jackson's the best fall guy we've got. I really have tried my best. You don't have to explain no more. I bet his mum and dad don't think that. Listen, we'll, we'll sort this, I promise you. How? I've got no idea. I just know that we'll get there in the end, somehow. Everyone will hate me if I don't want to. We'll forget everybody else. None of them matter. It's about you and my lady. Right, I think Faye's about ready to go home. Oh, well, what about the christening? There isn't going to be one. What about You're the... going to take Faye home, and I'm going to go in there and tell everyone we're calling it a day. I'm just saying that everyone should be honest with each other. Honest? Really? Oh, my God. This isn't about you two. I'm just saying nobody can change the past. I don't know. Mike McFly did an half-decent job. This isn't a joke, David. You're telling me? I'm the one who's been picking up the pieces for the last few months, remember that? Yeah, and I've already said that, I'm sorry. Yes, and accepting an apology is one of the most important things you'll ever do in your life. Are you going to do this all day? What? Find a way to turn the conversation back onto you and Michael. I was just talking generally. And everyone does need to have their say. Well, we'll be here all day if we let Gail have her say. Might as well rename it that an audience with Gail Platt or Rodwell or whatever she's yeah, calling herself all right, these days. All right, all right. I still don't understand what all this is supposed to be about. I mean, we didn't have all this talking in my day. We just got on with things. Oh, the good old days, eh, Graham? Mm, when you can leave your door open. Yeah, nip out for a new pair of clogs. <laughs> Still have change of half a crown. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you two are not too old to have a clip around the ear. You do know that, don't you? Huh? It's a chance for you to get things off your chest, mm. to address the past and to look to the future. Oh, well, if we're starting with a pass, you might want to nip out for some extra notepads. I hope you're a fast writer. We've only got an hour. And how are they getting on? Yeah, it'll be like a freak show around there. That's my family you're talking about. Yeah, well, you know it's true. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'd better be getting off. I'll look forward to hearing about you later on. Where are you going? Just got something to take care of. What kind of something? Well, you know what they say about asking questions and telling lies, yeah? Oh, if there's a problem... I never said there was a problem. Good. I'll see you later on, then. A lovely evening. Intelligent conversation, good food, nice wine. You sure you don't mind about the cooking? I, it, it'll be my pleasure. It's been a while since I've uh, sat round a table with good friends. Yeah, that's the trouble with society nowadays. We lost that joie de vivre that comes from communal eating. I must admit, I've spent far too many evenings hunched over a microwave cottage pie. Oh, no, no, anything microwave on the menu uh, tonight? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh! Are you off out for a meal? Uh, better than that. Brian's cooking tonight and Roy's coming. Oh, and here is me thinking it was going to be another boring night in front of the telly. You can't just cancel a christening at the drop of a hat. Well, what do you want me to do? Drag her back in, kicking and screaming? Well, of course not, but... Is she OK? I reckon Faye's just best left alone right now. Just give her a bit of time. Why don't you put her on later? Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. You'll get your christening, all right? Just let the dust settle and let things calm down a bit. I've always believed that candor is incredibly important, especially in relationships. It, it means honesty. I know what candor means. <laughs> and it's especially true when it comes to friendships. I know we've had our ups and downs, but I've grown very fond of you, Julie. I know what you're going to say. And I remember the first time my heart was cruelly dashed on the rocks of despair. Really? Oh, he was a plumber from Huddersfield called Nigel, who bore a strong resemblance to a young Michael Douglas. What happened? Oh, we had so many shared passions. Avant-garde knitwear. Oh. <laughs> Sherbet lemons. Uh, uh, the dramatic arts, but alas, it wasn't meant to be. Well, why not? Oh, he had commitment issues. Oh. Uh. A very touchy cocker spaniel. Oh, oh shit. All I'm saying is, I, I've known heartbreak and... Tetchy Cocker Spaniels aren't the only barriers to true love. Ladies? Hi. Afternoon? Good afternoon, indeed. She's as snug as a bug in a rug, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. 
Any chance of a quick word? Oh, I can't wait. I've got an upset door to deal with. Yeah, that's kind of what we want to talk to you about. We've been thinking, well, we were thinking anyway before today. Yeah, well, face behaviour. Oh, I haven't got time for this. What we're trying to say is, we think Miley might be better off coming to live with us. We think you could all do with a break. If you want a break, we'll book a week at Butlins. It's obvious she's struggling. It'd be better all round. Better for who? Well, for Miley, of course. We've got more space. And after this today, Faye's not taking some other odd. Well, what did you expect? Floral dresses and a subscription to Women's Weekly? Just think about what we're saying, please. Look, Faye might be struggling. So you admit it then? But she'll get there in the end and Miley's staying with us. Come on. So it's you, Ken and Brian sat around the table? Yeah, I, I believe that Tracy and Amy might also be there. Oh, love to be a fly on the wall in that room. I mean, what are you going to talk about? Politics, science, literature. Sounds more like a game of Trivial Pursuit than a dinner party. Don't be daft tight. It's great that Roy's socialising. Of course, I'm just saying it's out of my league intellectually. Yeah, lunchtime at Ruby's Nurse would be out of your league intellectually. <laughs> I wonder if you, you might like to accompany me. Uh, Ken did say. I wouldn't want to intrude. You wouldn't be intruding, far from it. I reckon Kathy's a bit like me, you know. Gave up astrophysics for Lent and never looked back, eh? <laughs> Why don't you come to the Rovers with us tonight instead? I think I might just have a quiet night at home. Oh, go on, it'll give us a chance to get to know each other. I suppose a couple of drinks won't hurt. Brilliant. How about we start again? By all trying to say something positive about each other. Audrey. Would you like to start? No, I'm not starting. How about you, Gail? Oh, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Just make a statement about somebody in the room, starting with, I like it when... Well, I like it when I see Nick being successful at the bistro. Oh. Excellent. Nick, would you like to go next? Uh, right. I like it when I see David being a good dad. Fantastic. David, how about you? Something positive about Kylie? Well, I like it when Kylie doesn't take drugs or lies or goes disappearing for months on end. That really was uncalled for. Well, it's got nothing to do with you. David, please. This is important. Oh, what, you're talking to me about what's important, are you? What is wrong with you? If you can't do this properly for Max and Lily's sake, then you know where the door is. Yes, I've made mistakes. Plenty of them. But my kids, our kids, they deserve better. Can I get you something to eat, darling? I'm not hungry. How about a nice hot drink, then? You don't have to fuss around me. Oh, I'm not fussing you. Listen, you know what, about today, I don't want to talk about it. No one's going to give you an hard time or anything. I just said I don't want to talk about it. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait! You just wait right there, young lady. Anna. Well, no, it's just about had enough of it. Well, shouting's not going to solve anything, is it? I didn't realise you'd become a parenting expert all of a sudden. You've been running classes at the community centre next, won't you? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know where that came from. I'm really sorry. I don't know why I said that. Forget it. Should be wanting a bottle in a minute. Oh, well, I'll do it. We don't want to get hungry and squawking the place down, do we? Well, this place isn't exactly a mansion, is it? Faye's going to have to get used to her crying sometimes. Well, what if she can't handle it? She's got no choice. You look tired. Thanks. Why are you going to have a lie down? Are you sure you're going to be all right with her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Greg, it's Tim. Um, is there any chance you and Josie can pop round to mine for a bit? See what failure looks like. Even the longest journey begins with a single step. Perhaps 
the one-to-one -one session would be better next week, though. Yeah, well, that seems like a good idea. I'm up with that. Right, I'm off to work. Yeah, I'll come with you. Well, that went well. At least everybody turned up to support you. That's a start. I... This sniping's got to stop. Look, I know it's my fault that Callum's back in Max's life, and I'm sorry about that. But if we're going to stand up to him, we've got to do it together. Whether you like me very much at the moment or not. Oh. What's up? I haven't seen a vicar drink a pint before. Not like that. Like what? I don't know, I just thought you'd sip it politely or something. We have hard days at the office too, you know. I'll have a pipe, please, babe. Do you mean shop him? No, uh, washing machine's on the blink. So need to find the launderette. Have a look if you don't believe me. Not that bothered. Fair enough. Don't have a little nosy, though, aren't you? Not really. Could be something in there for you. A pair of dirty old boxes. <gasps> you are kidding. Is this real? It's real. What's the occasion? Brilliant, Mum. I just thought you deserved a little treat. <laughs> How's Fair? No, oh, she's been better. Is it all right if I pop up and see her? Well, maybe leave it till tomorrow, away. Eh? Today's been a bit much. Hi. How did the christening go? It didn't. Really? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Mind you, I've not had an easy day myself. I've got an appointment now with a very large G&T. <laughs> Well, have one for me, eh? I'll make it a pint. Oh, oof. <laughs> Is he going to reschedule the christening, then? No. I reckon that Marley's going to remain a heathen for now. Better get off. Oh, well, I'll pop up and see you tomorrow. So you like it, then? I like it. I love it. Good. What do you reckon, Rev? Well, it's, it's not exactly my style, but uh, it's very nice all the same. How do you get on Instagram? Yes, yes, it went very well, thank you. But uh, what I'm ready for now is a G&T. Uh, I hear the christening didn't go so well. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could say that. Oh, dear, poor little thing. I mean, yeah, the situation's also difficult. Mm. It's, uh, she's got a family round her. That's the important thing. Yeah. That must have cost you a fortune. Bad man is asking about the price of a present. Since when did you know anything about manners? Charming. Buy your girlfriend a present, though, you get a load of cheat. Mm. Well, that's more like it. Should you really have been spending so much money on something like that? Well, I got it if I wasn't. I know, but with, like, all your solicitor's fees and everything, you must be shelling out a bomb. You let me worry about making money. And if a hard-working man can't buy his girlfriend a gift, then there's something wrong. It's all right with you, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Et voilà, une coque au vin. And for you, sir, a vegetarian cassoulet. Lovely. Thank you. What's a coque au vin? Just think of it like a chicken hot pot. Like in La Rovers? That's right, yeah. The French. I don't think I like French food. Brian has been kind enough to cook this, so I'd like you to at least try it. What if I don't like it? Why not start on the basis that you will? And if I don't? What's your mother got to? I don't think she likes French food either. Oh, well, I think it smells very appetising indeed. Well, I once spent a wonderful summer uh, interrailing round France as a student at uh, the Palace of Versailles, uh, Deems Arena, oh, and the battlefields of the Somme. Sounds tremendous. It's a country with a very rich history. I spent a glorious day just wandering round Notre Dame. Is that where the hunchback came from? It is, Amy. Do you think he liked Cockerville? I've really no idea. Just eat it, will you? I saw Brian today. Oh, good old Brian. Well, there's nothing good about him. He's an idiot. Well, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? I always thought he was a rather, you know, like, decent and uh, intelligent man. You can be intelligent and an idiot at the same time, you know. Well, I, for one, really enjoy his company. Well, I did once. But I've moved on to better things now. 
Yeah, but you know, with everything he's been saying and uh, he's been doing, surely what you had must have been something really special. No Is that the green-eyed monster I see rearing his head? You don't need to worry. I know which side my bread is buttered. Unfortunately, some people like their bread buttered on both sides. Don't they, Devindra? I've got some individual fruit trifles in the fridge, if you'd like one. What time do you call there? Oh, I'm only a few minutes late. Brian was kind enough to cook a meal. The least you could have done is get here on time. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course you can. What are sugar lattes? Why do you ask that, Amy? Someone put something about it through the door the other day. Well, yoga is an ancient form of exercise focusing on strength, flexibility and breathing. I know what yoga is. I'm asking about yoga lattes. Well, I, I suspect that uh, yoga lattes is a recent variation on the theme, a hybrid of yoga and pilates, I, I, I would think. Ah, don't strike me as a yogi, Roy. No, it's not an activity I've taken part in myself. I still don't understand what yoga lattes is, though. Look, Amy, it's basically Twister, right, but for boring people. Why do you feel such a need to disparage anything you don't understand? Oh, lighten up, will ya? I've got a point, Tracy. You need to open up your mind. Yoga might actually be a good pursuit for you. It can't be healthy for the soul. Spending all day peddling the soil goods of the unfortunate. Do you know what? I think I've had about enough. Cock a van for one day. Amy, pop along to the fish and chip shop, will you, love? Told you. It wouldn't have to be forever. I get how this works. As soon as Marley's with you, you won't be handing her back any time soon, eh? Faye can come and see whatever she wants, though. You all could. And how does Jackson feel about all this? We'll be doing most of the work. We know that. Jackson's absolutely fine with it. As long as he's still got time for his Xbox, eh? It's not really about Jackson, though, is it? Oh, Faye. It's about adults making decisions. But you really think it's that simple? Listen, we do know how hard this is for you. Do you? How do you know that, then? Well, it hasn't been easy for anyone. But we can take care of Miley. We've got the time, we've got the space. Yeah, I think I get that. You don't have to give us an answer right now. But you will be doing the right thing. It's clear that Faye doesn't enjoy being a mum. I've seen the way she looks at Miley. It's not right. Well, I, I, I'm going to need some time to think about this. I'm going to have to talk to Anna and Faye. That was lovely, Brian. Compliments to the chef. I second those sentiments. Culinary excellence. Thank you both. You're too kind. Yeah, Dad certainly is. Taking in waifs and strays off the street. Are you on a ruinous crusade this evening, Tracy? Well, somebody's got to say it. Strictly speaking, I don't think that statement's true. But how long are you planning on freeloading? Sorry. Sorry. Staying here, Brian? Your father's been very kind in taking me in. It's very much appreciated. Yeah, but that's not what I asked, is it? Well, I'll be here as long as it takes to win back Julie's heart. Right, and how long do you think that's going to take, exactly? For those who love, time is eternity. A quote often attributed to Shakespeare, but in fact, Van Dyke, the American poet. It certainly is. Very impressive, Roy. Okay. Well, why don't you actually do something about winning back Julie instead of sitting here eating cockavan and banging on about Shakespeare? You're sailing very close to the wind here, Tracy. She's got a point, though. It might be time for action. I wonder how Roy's getting on at Ken's. Oh, I bet they've discovered, like, a whole branch of science by now. <laughs> yeah, you'd have a date round there, all them facts and knowledge flying round the table. Yeah, but facts and knowledge won't get you out of a desert with a flat tyre, will they? Well, we weren't exactly overrun with deserts in Weatherfield last time I checked the tyre. No, but you know what I mean. I'm just dead chuffed, you know, that Roy's having a nice night with his pals. It'll do him good to have some intelligent company for a change. Hey, what are you trying to say? My late husband was a very intelligent man. Between the two of us, we used to get every question right on the quiz shows. Oh, you must miss him. I tell you what, there's a, a quiz night in here, Friday night. Why don't we have a team? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, go on. You could be our secret weapon. Oh. Oh, Faye, I hope she's OK. Yeah, she was like a rabbit in the headlights today. Can't believe I let this happen. It was hardly your fault. What were you supposed to do? Maybe if I kept a better eye on her. Are 
You can put your arm on me, you know. I know that. I just... What? I better get going. I've only just got here. I know. I've got stuff to do. What kind of stuff? I'll see you in a bit. I shouldn't have spoke to you like that in there. Forget it. I've tried keeping quiet after everything I've done. Oh, to be honest, Carly, a bit of verbal from you, it's least of my worries right now. No! I know that. And it's not about me and you anymore, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, what's he doing here? Oh, hey, God, Hax just popped round to see me, Mum. Well, she's not in. Back's round. He's in bed. It ain't your time to see him. Keep your hair on, I was only asking. And I'm only answering, and I'll leave. Not exactly a warm welcome, is it? It's the only welcome you'll be getting round here, so the sooner you get the message, the better. Come on. Not a chance. You don't get to speak to me like that. I'll speak to you however I want. You've got set times to see Max, and this is mine and David's house. You don't just get to stroll in when it suits you. Do you understand me? You just let my mum know that I came around to say hi. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh. What's up? <sighs> it's fair sleep. Um, yeah, I think so. She hasn't been out of her room since you left earlier. Are you OK? I've just had Greg and Josie around. Well, what do they want? Talk about Miley. What about her? They think that she should go and live with them. What? <laughs> no way. No, no way, Tim. That's not happening. You did tell them that, didn't you? Oh, you can't think that that's a good idea. Well, things aren't really working out with Marley here, are they? Well, we'll make them work. I just think it might be for the best. Ash and Violet find themselves in a bit of a compromising situation. Next tonight, there's comedy in Vicious. While on ITV2, things are hotting up on Love Island and on ITV Encore next. If you're in the mood for drama, Christopher Eccleston stars in Safe House.